We are so honored to be here tonight as actors because we realize that thousands of people are involved behind the scenes making these projects what they are. And truthfully, we are honored tonight to be giving you guys the recognition that you all deserve. Mm. <laughs> and as you saw in the opening of our film, we have 18 awards plus a medal of commendation and two Oscars to hand out tonight. So we're gonna keep things moving along. <laughs> We're gonna try. <laughs> what these awards really represent is some of the most amazing movies. The effects and the work all build on each other. From Close Encounters to Avatar, 2001 to Star Wars. Iron Man, Superman, The Avengers. It's pretty cool to be in a room full of people who create superheroes. You know, I think you're the only one in the room with real superpowers, Kristen. You know, Veronica Mars kicked ass with that Kickstarter. It certainly did. I am grateful and technology is wonderful. <laughs> it, it sure is, so let's give out some awards. It used to be that flipping cars the old school way used hidden ramps. Sometimes even cannons were fired underneath them to send them flying. These days, the pneumatic car flipper can safely flip cars or trucks in any direction. It can launch, it can launch with angle precision to a designated landing area. First developed on the set of Armageddon, this groundbreaking piece of equipment is easy to set up and strike. And it's a lot less disruptive than explosives, especially if you're driving. For the design and development of the pneumatic car flipper, the Academy presents a technical achievement award to John Frazier, Chuck Gasper, and Clay Penny. Gentlemen. Go left side, right side. I'd just like to take a moment to uh, thank all of the people that were very patient with me when I first started out. Um, Glenn Robinson, Johnny Burke, guys, when I was in my late 20s, early 30s, I certainly knew more than they did, or so I believed. Anyway, this was developed, Chuck started developing it. We refined it specifically for Independence Day. John has since made more refinements. That shot was from Total Recall using one of John's new and improved ones. So it's just safety, reliability, putting stuntmen close to him, and having a, a <laughs> shot that we know what it's gonna work. Thank you, John. I got some time left? You do. <laughs> so what you're looking at is a couple of old guys up here that just have a lot of fun making movies, but uh, we, uh, we... <laughs> Between the two of us, there's 100 years of special effects technology here. So, uh, we developed this car flipper and it, would, it came about because it was, a, uh, it was for the safety of everybody. We, we were shooting downtown a lot and um, so a lot of the requirements was no, no noise and uh, we had to know exactly where the cars were going to land when we launched them. So we came up with that, that idea and uh, it's actually been the standard of the industry for uh, probably the last 30 years maybe on Clay. Since the, yeah, used around the world. It's the safest way to launch a a static car or uh, other things, Armageddon, we launched uh, parts of asteroids. So it's a, it's a pretty versatile tool. It, uh, it's quick to set up and, and quick to strike. So that's why we get along with Michael Bay so well. So don't want to take any of his precious time. And thank the rest of you for helping us cover up our wires and the other things that we can't <laughs> keep out.